Hello everyone, my name is Sanya Mahajan. I am a legal intern in Lexclay Company and today's topic of mine is consent under the contract law. As we all know, in order to enter into a contract, consent of a person is very important. And here is the legal provision under contract, Indian Contract Act that is section number 10. It states that a creation of a valid contract it has been required to be made with the free consent of the parties. Free consent is one of the essential elements of the contract. If a person need to enter into a contract with another person, oh, then there is a need of a free consent. 13 of the Indian Contract Act defines the word consent. It defines that two, per, two or more persons are said to be consent when they agree upon the same thing in the same sense. And here is the essential requirement for the consent is that there must be meeting of the minds and there must be ad edum. And if there is no consent under a contract, then there is no agreement or a contract between the two parties. No contract will come into existence and the question as to whether it is free or not will be of no importance. Section 14 of the Indian Contract Act defines the word free consent. According to this section, consent is said to be free if it is not caused by caution, undue influence, fraud or misrepresentation or mistake subject. An effect of caution or undue influence, fraud and misrepresentation are mentioned under section 19 and 19 clause A. According to section 19, when the consent to an agreement is caused by the caution for fraud, misrepresentation, the agreement is a contract is voidable. And as per section 19 clause A, it deals with the effect of undue influence according to this section when the consent to an agreement is caused by undue influence the agreement is said to be as voidable contract at the option of the party who or whose contract has been caused so and such contract cannot be rejected following are some conditions where such contract cannot be rejected resigned by the parties at whose option such contract become voidable that is whose consent has been obtained by caution undue influence fraud or misrepresentation it is the situation when here are the some situations that is affirmation, acquisition of the right by the third person, expiry of the reasonable time, restoration not possible or when the means of this when such contract gets rejected. The voidable contract is rejected or resigned by giving part a notice to the another person or a party of his intention to resign or reject the contract. However, if the other party cannot be fraud found or contracted then is in spite of a reasonable efforts the contract can be rejected by giving a public notice that is notice in a no newspaper or by giving notice in the public authority like police here are the some consequences of such rejection of a contract which is mentioned under section 64 of the indian contract act that makes the provision in respect of the consequences of rejection that is of the voidable contract according to section 64 when a person at whose option a contract is voidable or resigned the other party thereto need not to perform any promise then obtained or contained in a promise which is uh, between the two parties so with this we come to know that the consequences that with if a consent is given under a contract which is free consent only then the contract is considered as a valid contract and so guys this was all about the con consent under the contract law if you need any information related to it please do write in a comment section and please do like subscribe this channel next click